Speaking at the annual Congress of the Agricultural Employers Association in Ventuk today, the Namibia Agricultural Union President, Tines Pretorius, reiterated that a successful agricultural sector will require a change on the perspective of farming in Namibia. Pretorius said that in the face of challenges such as economic strain, political indifferences, drought and unemployment, farmers no longer have the luxury of being complacent but instead need to become influential and intentional in their endeavours to demonstrate the sector's employment potential to the public at large. A huge change needs to be in how agriculture is perceived by the uh, nation at large. The generalisation that agriculture is a sub-value type of agri uh, employment, uh, we must address that. In order for, for agriculture to grow in, in Namibia, we have to um, take hands with uh, our partners, which is the financiers and the politicians, and we have to start thinking out of the box. Addressing the role of the country's economy on agriculture was an economist from Cirrus Capital, Robert McGregor. He explained that Namibia and South Africa's elections, along with inflation, water challenges, and the growth of the country's oil and gas industries, will highly determine what the future will look like for Namibia's agricultural sector. Cedars Capital is a Namibian-owned, broad-scoped financial services company. I think, obviously, an area of material concern for us does lie with um, the agricultural sector at the moment, particularly given the erratic rainfall we've had um, both this year but over the past 10 years. The outlook there at the moment is unfortunately negative. Um, the positive news is that the indications are that we might likely be moving towards the Ninja as the year progresses uh, into our next rainy season and hopefully that does represent uh, a better year of rainfall and hopefully more consistent rainfall of the outlook. Um, we are also slightly concerned about the potential inflation outlook given Iran volatility, especially with the political uncertainty in South Africa um, post the elections and uh, the ANC dropping below um, 50 percent. Um, in addition to that, uh, global conflicts, especially in the Middle East, uh, as, long as, as well as uh, Russia and Ukraine, present some risk to global commodities, or at least some uncertainty, and that, and that can provide volatility, uh, which can see some domestic inflation. So we do think that there is some risk to inflation, not that it will be much higher or, um, or as high as we did see when it spiked over 6 percent. Um, but we do think that, that inflation is likely, likely to remain around current levels for a while longer and therefore interest rates uh, and effectively debt servicing remaining at similar levels uh, through this year with maybe some interest rate relief only from early next year. McGregor commented that the finance sector is overall optimistic over the economy due to oil and gas developments as it provides room for more independent policies around trade matters, developmental stability and employment creation.